Now we are going to discuss the problem number six in the solutions in the NCRT back exercise. That is, how many milliliter of 0.1 molar HCl is required to react completely with one gram mixture of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3 containing equimolar amounts of both. These are the very important points which I have underlined. We need to find out the volume of HCl needed to react completely with the 1 gram mixture of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3. This is our aim to find out the volume of HCl needed. Now what is given to us? Molarity of HCl solution is 0.1 molar and mass of the mixture is 1 gram. Mixture means Na2CO3 and NaHCO3. And the given is the mole of Na2CO3 and mole of NaHCO3 in this mixture are same. It is containing equimolar means the mole of Na2CO3 and mole of NaHCO3 are same. Firstly, we need to find out what is the mass of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3 in the mixture. So for this, let's assume that the mass of Na2CO3 in this 1 gram mixture is x gram. So the mass of NaHCO3 will come out to be 1 minus x gram. The mole of Na2CO3 and mole of NaHCO3 are same. So we have assumed Na2CO3 to be x gram and the mole can be calculated as given mass by molar mass. So the molar mass of Na2CO3, atomic mass of Na is 23 and carbon 12 O16. So we can find out the mole of Na2CO3. It would be x by 106. 106 is the molar mass of Na2CO3. So similarly the mole of sodium bicarbonate would be 1 minus x by 84. 84 is molar mass. So just simply solve for x. So by solving for x we will find out that mass of sodium carbonate would be x will come out to be 0.558 gram. So the mass of sodium bicarbonate is 1 minus x, it will come out to be 0.442 gram. Now we know the mass of both the component in the mixture. So we can find out the mole of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate in the 1 gram mixture. It is given mass by molar mass. So the mass of sodium carbonate is 0.558 divided by its molar mass, it will come out to be 0.00526 mole and the mole of sodium bicarbonate is 0.442 by 84 that is point again 0.00526. Definitely the mole of both the component are same, it is given to us. So the mole of the sodium carbonate and bicarbonate are equal. Our aim is to find out the volume of HCl needed. So firstly we will write the balance reaction. Here we can see that total mole of HCl reacted in both the reaction. From first reaction we can predict that the mole of HCl reacted would be the twice of the mole of sodium carbonate reacted. If its mole would be A then HCl mole would be double of it. So from the first reaction, first balance reaction we have written that the mole of HCl reacted would be twice the mole of the sodium carbonate reacted. And in the second reaction the mole of HCl reacted would be equal to the mole of the sodium bicarbonate. So by adding these two, we can write in that the total mole of HCl reacted would be twice the mole of sodium carbonate reacted in the first reaction plus in the second reaction, the mole of HCl reacted would be equal to the mole of the sodium bicarbonate reacted. So we, by placing simply the value, we can find out that the total mole of HCl reacted would be equal to the mole of sodium carbonate reacted into 2 plus mole of sodium bicarbonate reacted. So they will come out to be 0 0.0157. Now our aim is to find out the volume of the HCl solution which is needed to consume completely the sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. So mole of HCl reacted will be written as molarity into volume. So we know the molarity which is 0.1 and we need to find out the V which is the volume of the solution. So V would come out to be 0.157 liter. This is the V is the volume of the HCl react needed to consume completely the sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate in the 1 gram of the mixture.